And this is why I was scared earlier about riding. I can't see it. Because this is what happens. <laughs> Look at his bike over there upside down. I'm going to take my foot away. Get your foot off me. I know. I'm keeping you from rolling down the mountain more. Wow. Okay. My poor husband. Oh, we have so much work to do, too. Today is our last ride That's in Pisgah sad. for a long time. So, because we're going to start our travels in two days. But um, my husband's very creative, and we needed to figure out a way um, to transport our bikes and keep them protected. And so we just, he decided, not, I didn't do anything, I decided to get out of his way. And uh, so he created this. Dusty. Yeah, it's pretty dusty out here. <laughs> So hence why we have the tall topper. Ta-da! Look at that fanciness. Woof, man. So we'll have our other wheel sets will be here. Um, so obviously front wheels for today, but then we have our racing wheel set is going to come with us. Um, our original plan was to bring all four of our bikes, but it just, you know, I don't know, it just too wasn't going to work out. Yeah, just too much. As you can see, just having this stuff is yeah. taking up quite a bit of space. Um, but anyways, super awesome. So everything's nice and locked and secured. So yay, good job, Frank. Yay. He's pretty creative. <laughs> He's pretty creative. It does have the Myers flair, is what I call it though. It's it works, very functional. It's just a just a little bit off. <laughs> Alright guys, super excited to be out here and just stretch our legs. We have been in so much anxiety and just trying to shut down the house and get it ready for moving for the people who purchased it and then get our, um, our new life set up to be um, pulling our home with us. So we will be drugging the animals because we went to the vet office and that was pretty horrible. <laughs> so, especially for the cats. Um, but I think that, you know, I think they're gonna do fine. So, on these adventures. We're riding, Christine. We're gonna go do Smith's again. I'm not sure. Then maybe we'll go over to DuPont and take one 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 last ride down Ridgeline. Bittersweet day. I'm sure we'll be back. To the oh yeah, we're gonna definitely find a a camp uh, posting position over here. We're gonna keep our eyes open and bid on that first thing. But it also depends on how how well we do over there on the on the west coast because our grandbaby's over there. That's true. I don't know. Lord knows, but we don't know. <laughs> yeah. At least somebody knows. At this point, we're just kind of along for the ride. Quite a few folks out here today. Thought it was doing good. Just had a guy go blowing by me. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, he's on an e-bike. Never mind. And I gotta wonder what it's gonna be like out west. With more elevation. How much am I gonna suffer? Whew. They were signed up to do the Jordan race next week, but we haven't got time. So, get to the top of this thing, hand the camera off to Christine. Does. It was way too bright for me. 
having a hard time seeing just going slow up the climb. I always forget how long and steep this climb is. That's all you think about the downhill. So you hear that clicking sound, my chain rubbing against the chain keeper. Did that on purpose to let me know that I am out of gears. Christine's been in a lot of pain over the last couple of weeks. All the stress, anxiety, of taking an entire house and two sheds of stuff and jamming it in a eight foot by 35 foot trailer. It'd be different, you know, just going on a vacation, but you gotta have everything. All the bike tools, and repair stands, and sealant, extra tires. Because we definitely plan on doing some boondocking. And it's hard to say where the closest bike shop's gonna be. So, carrying all of that. Plus, what we need for the RV and just you know, clothes. And, you know, it's, it's a lot. We have no idea what we're doing. So, this is a huge step of faith for us. Because we do feel called by the Lord to get out there and we don't have any definitive plans except for like the first like month and a half you know we kind of got planned but it's a loosely held plan it's not like it's got to be my way or the highway. Because the Lord has revealed to me over the past few weeks that I am not in control. He is. All I got to do is trust Him. All I think about is that Toby Max song. Never early, he's never late, you know. This song I've been playing on a loop inside my head. Just one example is that for the so we need a tag, at least a temporary tag, you know, to pull this thing down the road. And so the people that own it. They had to lean on it. So, you know, they got to pay off their side. We gave them our money. They paid off that rest. Then the bank has to release the lien. We get sent to the state. The state released the title. The title goes to the owner. Then eventually to us, the new owner. And has to for a bill of sale on like Sunday last Sunday. So she mailed it Monday. You only live in Charlotte. You drive there an hour and a half. So I figured, okay, it'll be here. Whoa. It'll be here by Wednesday. Nope. Thursday. Nope. 
Friday. Finally showed up Friday afternoon. In the meantime, yeah, my brain's going overtime. Plotting and scheming on how to get a tag without a title. I only have a bill of sale. I mean, all, all these things. And uh, Tile shows up like at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They close at 5. It's a Friday. You know, the DMV is like slam full. So she goes to the less busy. And there's like 80 people in front of her. She gets there an hour before I close. And, uh, She gets called up to the window and then realizes at that moment that the bill of sale was only made out to me. And I'm at home working on the camper. So the lady helping her, she's like, honey, that's all right. Just go ahead and write your name in there. And assign it. <laughs> so that was that was God saying, "Hey, I got this, man. What are you worried about? I hold everything in my hands." big end a little <laughs> so she got a temporary tag perfect good till mid August give us time in Florida see my mom her mom get everything switched over so it's been like that on a bunch of different stuff I'm over here fretting and freaking out and you got that still small voice going hey man I got this no need to panic no worries all is well and it was oh ye of little faith So that's been that story playing over and over over the past week, two weeks. So that God's like, I got this. Calm down, sir. So.
up too soon. <laughs> Okay. Alright, let's have some fun. Frank prayed over me, so I feel much better. Get rid of that spirit of oppression over me if I wasn't having fun. real dry out here, y'all. Ah, my shoe is soaked now. <laughs> a little deeper than I thought. That's not soaked. That cooled me off, though. That was my right foot that time. That's the one I don't like. I'm not the first one's the good one. And I skip it. That's 
So now we're here at DuPont. I'm gonna try to make up this rock climb with the camera on. I made it without the camera on, but we'll see if I can make it with the camera on. You have done it literally four times in a row. And then you have the camera on and nope. That's what I said. I hope I can do it with the camera on. Good job, baby. Uh, Hook Creek. A little sketchy out here today. Pretty dry. Both got new dissectors front and rear. And uh, they do offer a tremendous amount of corner grip. And I'm thankful for that today. <laughs> that trail's so much fun. Alright, take one. Bridge line. Woo. Sandy up here. All messed up. That corner up. Lost all my momentum.
gets me every time. shot. I'm going to do this again. So I may not be back here for a few more years. Coming in. Show us how it's done. Ah! Ah! It's the same spot every time. Yeah. Yeah. How, often, okay, so how often do you make it? I just made I just made it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My second loop around. Yeah, okay, uh, later in the day. Yeah. Every time I'm wearing a stupid camera, I can't do it. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, the back side of Jim Branch. All right, so we're going to do the full length of ridge line this time around. As a side note, I'm on my third set of Elite wheels, direct from China. They had a summer sale, $625 carbon rim set with the DT Swiss hub knockoffs. 1340 grams I had really good luck with the first two sets so I decided to go ahead and get another set they have changed them just a little and I must say that they are super easy to set tubeless tires up on. Just breathe. Just mm. breathe. I know. Yeah. Just breathe. I'm just gonna lay here for just a minute until your adrenaline calms down, and then you'll be able to feel where it hurts the most. Okay? 
Uh, I short shot that corner, caught the tree. Oh, it flipped me right up in the air. I know, your bike's upside down over there. Uh, see, my bike's okay. Oh. Give me just a second and I'll check. You hit your head. Yeah, I did. I hit it really hard. I can see that. Mmm. Oh. I don't think my collarbone's broke. It's not jutting out. No, it feels solid. But I heard something snap. Do you want to try to sit up or no? I don't know if it was my head or what it was. Oh, there it is right there. Whew. You feel? They feel the same. Yeah, I think my shoulder has popped out for a second. <sighs> if so, it popped back in. Oh. It's definitely <laughs> swollen right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can I move your arm? You relax, don't move <sighs> it. Let me move it. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that's what happened. When I came off, I kind of did a cartwheel thing and landed on this right arm. Oh, and this is why I was scared earlier about riding. I can't see it. Because this is what happens. <laughs> Look at his bike over there upside down. I'm going to take my foot away. Get your foot off me. I know. I'm keeping you from rolling down the mountain more. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. My poor husband. Oh, we have so much work to do too. All right, so came off that little rise, swung just a little too wide, and caught that tree that I have missed by centimeters on more than one occasion. And that time it got me. Fortunately, no broken bones. Thank you, Lord, for that. Because when I hit the ground, I hit the ground really hard. I think I might have gave myself a concussion. So we're just going to coast down the hill. Uh, my, whew, man, I think I popped my shoulder out of the socket because I heard an abrupt cracking noise. So that had been my shoulder leaving its socket, but it appears to be back in place. But the tissue around it is super swollen. So, yeah. Thanks for the memories, Ridgeline. Ooh, that's a terrible sound. Bike is still in one piece. Nothing broken. So it's all good. Hey, like and subscribe if you made it this far in the video. Oh, that hurt. Um, follow us on our new adventure. I do hope that I am healed up to ride Bentonville. We are spending three days in Bentonville. So I'm hoping that everything is returned to normal by then.